Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I want to describe uh, how this model, the monkey model, uh, is working with MetaHuman. Actually, it is topology independent. It means that it doesn't need to be a MetaHuman topology. It's, uh, obviously, it's not a top MetaHuman topology. It's one single mesh, and it has its own UV map and um, its own topology, but as you can see, the metahuman is working. I mean, the metahuman rig is working. And so, um, how it works? If you, if I just click on that, you're gonna see there is a blend shape node. Here's takes time until it's loading and this is what controlling the face the whole thing is that and it's not being controlled by joints all right so i don't need the metahuman um, skeleton for face and no not, not for face not for body the only joint that i use is this joint which is for eyes and actually I edited the blueprint in inside the metahuman uh, inside the metahuman um, original metahuman inside Unreal and by editing the blueprint I just try connect the eye movement from the original one eye rotation from the original one to the new one and uh, it doesn't need to be to follow the skeleton structure as long as it's just a single head joint it can um, be done uh, can can be installed inside Unreal and regarding the skeleton for the body it is not a metahuman skeleton obviously it follows the same naming why because i wanted to take advantage of the rig um, because the rig uh, the control rig for body it follows the name and put the control rigs uh, in the right place but by no means it needs to be a metahuman skeleton and regarding that that we don't actually need to have a metahuman topology and the metahuman skeleton it open, opens up um, uh, a lot of opportunities for us because right now i can um i can read any character not necessarily human or monkey or a humanoid figure but any character that you can imagine that has a face it can be a cartoonish character it can be something like a dragon or um when snake whatever i can install um metahuman rig on it and it will work inside on you you have seen some of the videos uh before that people showing um creature talking with the metahuman rig actually it's not a rig inside unreal what they did is um they have the animation as joints inside maya and then they manipulate the joints or they use blend shape or whatever and apply the animation and send it to unreal so the, the point is uh, the thing that uh, the videos that I have seen I'm pretty sure they are not a control they it's not a control rig inside Unreal because it couldn't be because from the day one they show it some people show it inside Unreal and it took me about a year to figure out things to um, and a lot of coding to be able to uh, make this system 
so <clears throat> for the next video i'm going to show you something very useful and it's going to be a dance character so regarding that we don't need to follow metahuman skeleton i can have a dash character and i rig it with uh, metahuman rig and i don't change the skeleton so when i don't change the skeleton actually there is a there is a possibility i mean there is a um capability that we can actually send das cloth directly from das to unreal and attach it to our character how cool is it so we will have a meta human with that that works with das cloth so you can just uh, open das studio or uh, match uh, or fit a cloth for your character and send it to unreal you don't need any other application and i offer this service i mean uh i can rig any character not on necessarily human anything with the face with a meta human with meta human control rig and it will have uh, its own body control rig inside unreal so you don't need to have any other uh, software and especially if you have a dash character I can read your dash character so that you will have your dash character as a meta human and you can send cloth to Unreal, attach it to your character, and also you can send it back to Das as is. I mean you can animate the face or and body and send it back to Das. So DAS Studio is kind of, um, it's not a straightforward application. You can't send anything to DAS. I mean, it just accept its own character. If you do, if you touch the skeleton, if you uh, move something, it won't work. It's very weird. It's like a protection thing, because even you change the geometry name, it won't work. So you you have sh you should ch you should keep everything intact. To be able to send the character to Das, send it back to Das, and but uh, be mindful that if you do that, if you want to send your character to Das, you need uh, Unreal permission. I mean, Epic Game permission to do that because it's not legal. But you have your character in Unreal, and I don't see any reason to send it to Das because you can use Unreal; it's free and um also if you want if you need uh if you need um an offline rendering good quality rendering unreal offering that and it's path tracing and also the most important thing about das character is that you don't have a groom system inside das but you have a groom system inside unreal so your hair your character's hair will look realistic unlike uh, the traditional way that which is card hair card also if you are not aware of so there is a plugin it's called ornatrix for um unreal and you can actually model hairs inside unreal how cool is it unreal is really becoming a tool for uh, making cinematics and it has everything that you need it has control rig. it has appropriate rendering tools it has grooming system and I think it it is the feature and if you are a filmmaker I really really suggest or recommend you to start using Unreal because this is the um, this is the actually the way that uh, filmmakers filmmaking uh, is going toward and 
So in the next video, I will talk about more about Das characters, and I will show you a Das character Genesis Eight, and it it is um, Genesis Eight, but I will also cover Genesis Nine, and because the Das character, I um, actually. If I read one, and I I need I don't need to um, uh, to do some bit, um, required step before uh, reading uh, another topology because it's already read. I can easily read another one, and the price would be much more affordable than um, a character with an independent. I mean, with uh, with uh, new rig, new topology, that I need to make a new rig for it. So for those characters, it would be more affordable. Thank you very much.